Hey guys, I wanted to talk about the five best options to sell your house in Austin in 2021. So of course there's many different options when you're going to sell a house and I'll just talk about a few of them here in no particular order. Any one of these options could be right for you, but any one of these options might not be right for you. So think about your situation, think about your goals and think about what you need to get out of a home sale. So of course the first is just traditionally listing your home. You're just cleaning it up a little bit, maybe fixing any tiny little things that are broken, and you're gonna list it on the MLS. Now we do a lot when we're gonna list home on the MLS. We don't just come through and take pictures with the cell phone. We get professional photography. We have a stager come through. We make sure things look great. We help the homeowner get all these little things fixed. Then we put it on social media. We put it on print media. We send out mailers for it. We call around, we knock on doors around it. We really make sure everybody knows about it. Of course, we also put it on the MLS. Everybody does that, that's not unique. But that's just something that my team does is we go through a whole process. We have a whole home sales system that we have developed that we put each home we're listing through. So another option, you can list your home and you can lease it back for a period of time. So you could sell your home to me and rent it back from me for a period of 60 to 90 days. Typically lenders, the buyer's lender, are only gonna allow you to rent it back for roughly 60 days. So make sure you take that into account when looking at this strategy. If you're going to list it traditionally and sell to an end buyer who's going to occupy the home, most of the time they need you out within 60 days. Maybe you sell it to an investor. It's okay renting it to you indefinitely that can be a great option for you too. You just have to understand when you're talking to these buyers, most buyers can only do 60 days. So understand that guys, you could just sell it straight to an investor. Maybe you get a cash offer from an investor or you work with a realtor to get a cash offer from an investor. A lot of the times this is gonna be a lower offer because investors are trying to make money. But like I said earlier, this can be the most flexible option it cannot require you to do anything to the home. So when you're working with a traditional home buyer, they're gonna come in, they're gonna ask you to fix things most of the time. An investor can easily be convinced not to ask you to do anything and let you stay in the home for an indefinite period of time. So that's a great re reason to sell straight to an investor. It's holding the home as an investment property or in the future, they're gonna fix it up and make more money off of it. Of course, there are other ways to get cash offers. Here at Keller Williams, we have a program called Keller Offers. They make really competitive cash offers. They can let you stay in the home for a period of time. They can buy it quickly from you as little as two weeks with no repairs needed. It can be a really easy, quick way to get a home sold with no work from you. No open houses, no showings, no people coming through your house. You don't have to do any work. You don't have to do anything. They just come in, they buy your house, they close on it when you're ready to close on it. Um, again, you're probably going to make more money listing on the MLS and fixing the home up. So that's to our next option, option number five, fix up your home and sell it. So maybe you don't have the cash to do this, or maybe you do. There's two different options there. If you've got the cash to do it, you hire the contractors you want. They come through, they do the work that you want, that you think is going to appeal to the broadest range of buyers and you make the home look perfect. You get a good listing package together like we do normally, and you list it on the MLS, you get tons of offers, you make a lot of money. Absolutely, a fixed up home is always gonna sell for more than a home that's in bad shape. So remember that no matter who the buyer is, no matter how hot the market is, you're gonna make more if the home's in good shape. Trust me on this, guys. Question I get all the time is, oh, it's a hot market. Can we just sell our house as is? You can, but you're gonna make less money. So make it look great, make the most money. And that leads to my next option here. Maybe you don't have this money to fix up the home and sell it. We also have a program, our, our ready to sell program, where we will come in and do the work, not us, not me, but we have vetted contractors. They've been through background checks. They're licensed and bonded. They're gonna come in and do the work on our dime. You don't pay anything up front. All this work gets done. You make more on the sale of the house and you just pay back what the work cost at closing. Now, again, guys, you're going to make more with home that's fixed up. 
lots of times considerably more. So it's worth doing the work. It's worth spending that money. I help people go through those analysis, but in 95% of the scenarios, it's worth spending the money to make the house look great. Of course, there's things you don't need to do, but kitchens, bathrooms, paint, flooring, all that stuff is gonna make your home sell for more. So remember there's five major options. You list, you list and lease back, you sell maybe off market to an investor, you get a cash offer from an I buyer like Keller offers, or you fix up your home and sell it. You can either do that with your own cash or you can do that with our cash. So reach out, let me know what questions you have. There are tons of options for selling your home. There's not just the traditional list it, have tons of showings, have open houses, have people through it. There's an option for everybody. Let me know what questions you have and I will talk to you soon.